We're going to try something today that I've never seen before, and I'm sure you probably haven't either, and it's a really cool thing. It's kind of like, you know how sometimes you have to sit around and just stare at a campfire because it's so, like, enthralling that every ounce of energy that you have has to be put into watching this campfire? We're going to do that only with a chemical reaction, and it's really cool. Oh, hands on deck! <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. I've been looking for you for literally like years, man. Vashji. Yes! Oh, ho, ho, it's good. This reaction is so great. So great. I mean, I haven't seen anything this great in like, uh, let's see, what was the last time I saw something this great? Hmm. I don't know. I can't even think of something funny to say. Hmm. I don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing. It's a, it's a cool reaction though, you gotta admit. So the idea here is we're going to use copper as a catalyst and it's going to facilitate the conversion of acetone into formaldehyde. So it's a pretty cool reaction. There's energy that's lost and energy that's reabsorbed. So you get this continuous cycle of energy and we can actually keep a penny glowing red hot for like 20 minutes. And now I know what you're thinking. That is pretty cool and it's really neat, but could we do it maybe a little bit bigger? So. You know, I got to thinking last week we made these fantastically thin copper quarters and I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, it might work with one of those. So we're gonna give that a try now.
And so there we go, it actually works pretty well with the copper quarter that we made last week. If you didn't see last week's video, you should definitely go check it out right now. It was really cool. We were able to make some very thin change. But alas, that's just not quite big enough yet. I mean, it's a little bit bigger, but I mean, comparing the size of a penny and a quarter, mm, it's not much bigger, really. So we gotta try this again and we're gonna go all out. I've gotten a piece of copper foil that I folded into smaller into a smaller bit here, so uh, actually a big sheet of copper foil. So we're gonna fold that down a little bit here, just to even up the size uh, ever so slightly. Yeah, I think I think we could probably do this reaction using this big piece of copper. And I think if these haven't been impressive enough, oh, this is gonna be just like staring at a campfire. going to get any better than that. I think that was fantastic. All right, so let's talk about the science of what's happening here. It's a really strange reaction. It's a catalytic oxidation of acetone. So what we're actually doing is we're oxidizing acetone using the oxygen and the air, but we need a little heat, a little energy to get that reaction started. So by heating up the penny and getting it glowing red hot, that provides sufficient energy to get the reaction going. And that energy that's used up in the reaction is actually recreated by the reaction and recycled back into the penny. So the penny acts as like a heat sink in this scenario and reabsorbs the energy given off by the reaction. This cycle leads to the penny staying red hot for well, quite, quite some time. I mean, you know, 20, 30 minutes probably. So there we go. That's one of the coolest reactions. Well, not really cool, it's probably pretty hot. We'll say it's one of the hottest reactions that I've done in quite some time. I think that worked really well, and I think even stepping it up from size to size, we got some better results, and it just, I mean, the whole thing just got better all the way through it from start to finish, so I think it worked really good, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button down there. You know, don't forget to subscribe and comment and go check out the merch store and you know, all the regular usual jazz. So aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.